Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Beauty Galore. Today we will be doing a dorm room tutorial. So I wanted to start over here at my desk. See I have my purse hanging up and like basically just my makeup. This is like my makeup and uh, beauty shelf right here. I really have to move my wipes out here anyway. <laughs> like my collection of lipstick over here which I've been planning on doing another video on and then there's my hygiene shelf and then there's my food shelf now down here I have of course this little nice little wall that I decorated and there's my sunflower logo that I love so much <laughs> And I have kind of this like nail polish um, collection here. I've been dabbling in um in nails in uh what is it in acrylic nails. So I've been working on that. Let's see, I have an acrylic kit here, and I've been ordering some stuff from eBay, such as this pump. I'm gonna leave probably the um the stuff. I ordered from eBay for my nails in the description. It was only about fourteen dollars, so it wasn't like outrageously expensive. Uh, you want to know what colors I have on my nails right now? Which is this, this is my little glamour right here. Um, I'm working with Technochrome P2 Technochrome, which is actually more expensive at Walmart now. I guess they figured out how valuable it was. <laughs> um, and I have. Um, Sally Hansen and Hardest Nails Extreme Wear, and this color is Strobe Light. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all this color is uh, this color is uh, Frozen Rose. It's Frozen Rose. On you can see. It. Okay. Anyways, back to the room tour. So <laughs> I have a wax burner because I love wax burners. Like wax burners are like a big part of my life <laughs> i love pumpkin smells and as you can see I, I absolutely love pumpkin um everybody that comes to my room like they can already know they smell my room before they get in here <laughs> because of my um wax and stuff and you know i like to keep it nice okay so i decorated my wall with uh pictures that i cut out from the library I literally just cut all, I literally printed everything out and cut it out. It took time and patience and I am actually very, very glad that I got this done. I am like, I feel very accomplished with, um, this, this project basically. Cause I always want my room to look like this. So this is what I'm, what I've been working on. I, it took me about a week. It would have took long. It, I mean, it would have took shorter had I, um, bit more time doing it doing like cutting things out and stuff but here's the whole wall in its entirety um yeah this is it this is the wall i spent about hmm, i want to say maybe 15 20 dollars in total maybe 25 dollars putting all this together mind you i bought some curtains as well um, for me and my roommate, we're working on decorating our entire room. I'm gonna show you my rose lights on the outside for a minute. So here are rose lights we stringed across the door. They're actually my broken lights that I had uh, last semester, but they broke somehow, so we just put them out here because first of all, if anybody's gonna steal our lights, they might as well be broke. <laughs> so yeah, we got that. And like I said, this is just my side of the room. And I really love sunflowers and roses, so when I saw this, let me just put the photo. So when I saw this, I fell in love because like I love sunflowers and roses. I am going to put up a um I'm planning on putting up a, a nail rack, little you know the ones you see in a nail salon. I'm gonna put one up over here. So when I do, I'm gonna show y'all that. Maybe in another room tour that I do. And I also plan on putting streaming the light bulb uh, lights across that uh, area right there over the curtains. I think that would be really cute as well. Um, but yeah, I want to show y'all this. This tapestry was about I want to say five dollars. I'm gonna try to link everything that I have purchased in the description below so that you all can see that. But for the most part, I didn't purchase any of this. I just uh, cut it out, or printed it and cut it out. Uh, yeah, I printed everything for the most part and cut it out. Um, 
I love the things that took me the longest were these little sunflowers here because obviously it took a lot of detail uh, to cut out each um, each petal and I enjoyed doing that actually um, but yeah here's I have like a lot of pictures how they created because that just so happens to be my favorite artist yeah he's like I was my mom um, I was actually just gonna order some poses from eBay, but you know it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, here we go. So I'm gonna go here just to give y'all a closer look to everything. Here's my some books I have: uh, "Ladies Man" by Richard Price, uh, "Beloved," and <laughs> "How to Make Money on YouTube." I actually recommend this book. I got it from uh, school when I was in high school, and yeah, it's a pretty good book it's pretty old it's kind of old but you know it works out you can get it <laughs> uh yeah but this are my books these are just it's just i wanted to give y'all this really quick tour i'm not uh, gonna show my face because i look a hot mess right now i'm getting ready for bed i just want to do this quick little tutorial because a lot of people have given me compliments on my dorm room look all right, so the tip that I wanted to demonstrate for y'all was um, this hanging method that I use with command strips and crazy glue or whatever glue that you have that is like crazy glue. You can use nail glue as well or Gorilla Glue. Any glue that is very adhesive that you can use for things such as hanging. So what I like to do when I want something to be stable, um, the way I glue the power strip on the corner over here i'm just going to show y'all that again um the way like i had you see the command strips are there this is literally all that i did to ensure that um my to ensure that it stayed put all i did was take command strip uh stick it to the back of whatever you're hanging and apply some crazy glue to that like so Gonna take them out, a minute to come out. And we used. So yeah, apply some crazy glue. Try to get the uh, the corners and tips of the command strip, because that's what's going to be sticking to the surface. And take your take your item and stick it back to the surface. I'm trying to get it lined up with this other command strip you do it like this oh well it's already stuck there so yeah and now you just press down press press now you just press down to make sure it your item is secure you might have to hold it down for about 10 seconds or so so that the glue doesn't dry depending on what surface you're uh, trying to stick your item to because this is wood so it shouldn't take that long it might take a minute but it's not going to take that long um this is the exact same method that i used to literally hang my curtains if i can get up here i can try to show y'all this what i did i all i did was um i hope you can see that this part right here all i did was put a command strip on the back of this put some glue on it and literally press it on to this part of the blind there are no screws involved in this hanging process because obviously like what am i gonna screw through so yeah i had to work something out that way the same thing i did with this finger pump i literally took some glue put it on the bottom of this and pressed it down to this um press down to the surface so yeah um i just wanted to show y'all that quick little tip it's very very simple very easy and very cheap you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money on you know stuff that you can just pay what two dollars for <laughs> this whole setup like i said before is was only about thirty dollars maybe 25 but it was very cheap there's nothing that i really had to put a lot of money into and stuff like and i did the same method with this uh tapestry here i took some command strips pasted them to the wall um took some crazy glue put the crazy glue over the command strips then put the tapestry up pressed them in the right um places and this wallpaper again is printed off 
You do not need to go out and spend a fortune on a dorm room decoration. All you have to do is have a little bit of creativity, like I mentioned um, earlier. I mean, have a little bit of creativity, work something out. Trust me, you can do it. That's the tip I wanted to show y'all. So let me once again, thank you all for tuning in to this video. I forgot to make a quick outro, so I will be leaving all of my purchases for this dorm room makeover in the description below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell icon for future notifications. And as always, stay tuned for more beauty galore.